Frank fucking that. um. Even if you gotta think he's, I mean, he might not be here every day, but Frank does look at stuff. Yeah. I can show you, Matthew. Give me a sec. About what? And Frank actually looks at stuff. Oh, about your band appeal? No. Oh, yeah, I think you should re-put that fucking thing and then on on Sean Frank, and, and re-get that through. He wants to. He wants his department to be the best that he can. He don't get me wrong. So I don't. Gonna... I don't hate. I don't hate and despise Sean and and Michael. But when they pull shit like that, it makes me want to just fucking come on here and just to murder them too only. That's, you that's look at how the screenshot I sent you on Discord. It's not related to SD, but it's proof that he actually does look at shit and actually gets back to you. What happened with Sean and Michael? Uh, it was about a it was about a situation a couple days ago. I don't remember what day exactly. But um, he's talking about three days ago. Yeah, was, a, was it three days ago? If you want to, if you like want to, if you want to, I mean, if you want to show Aaron the, the videos right now. I don't know if Aaron can do anything, no. but it's been three days. I mean, it doesn't really matter at this point. But we. Okay, Alex, Sean. Give but, a slap on the PP, demote him. But basically, I, things, so. I mean, if Paulin's just any of the videos, he can. But basically, uh, we were rolling around doing some hideouts, and we go to Silverton, and uh, Sean is hiding. You know where Silverton hideout is behind it? You know that little arch, uh, tri like a little triangle in where you can hide in where there's shacks? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he, he was hiding there, and Hardy had a gun drawn. Class 1 pointed at us when we were just in a vehicle, and he was just running around with it, willy-nilly. And then we drive away for a minute, we come back, we see Fillmore pulled up, blocking off, and pull and pull a gun, and say, y'all have masks on in city limits, y'all need to take it off. I was like, this isn't city limits, go check again, please. Uh, we were there for, uh, we were there for pulled over. Uh, we were chased with cla uh, with uh, basically two like uh, what is it uh, lights and sirens, and we were pulled over. Uh, he had his hand on his holster the whole time. Uh, Fillmore was given demands, and then he came up to the window and said, uh, "My name is Fillmore Grayson." Yada yada yada. We gave IDs, and then he still had his Sean still had his gun on his, or hand on his holster. Were they were they capturing it or? No, we weren't capturing it at all. Nope. No, no, no. Was that the no, capturing no. back? No, they were oh, setting okay. up an ambush. It was an ambush. I'll show, I'll show you the video, but I can send it to you. But uh, we were pulled over. Uh, Gary was scared because uh, Sean had his hand on his holster the whole time. We, we didn't want to yeah. get shot. We didn't oppose a threat. We don't know why we were being stopped. We asked Fillmore, why are we being stopped? Uh, he didn't give us the reason. He just uh, asked for ID. We asked, why are we being stopped? Didn't give us a reason. We pulled forward because uh, we were scared of our life because Sean had his hand on his holster the whole time. Uh, we pulled forward, and some. then then they turned into a felony stop, and uh, did the little V, whatever it's called. I don't remember the formation. Pulled class ones drawn on us, trying to felony stop us. I don't know why. Still, um, then Michael comes Ryan around, and Michael there, says, "Y'all have a great day," and pull, and that mean that usually means we're good to go, right? Because Michael, uh, Michael came so around and said, so. "Exactly." Yeah. So Michael Michael said, "We have a great day." So we said, "Okay." So we left. Sean still followed uh, code, three, code three is code threes the whole three time, the even though a higher officer said we are free to go. So we were so confused. So we thought he was targeting us. So whenever we get to Elk Shortbridge, me and, me and Gary hop out and we light up Sean. User left your channel because he's just following us with with code threes and I think it was two or three. I don't remember, but he was just following us and we don't understand why we were literally told to go. We were free to go. And then it turns into that situation where, you know, all of SD get gunned down because, I mean, simple, simple stupidness. Yeah, I mean, I can see their logic on why they were there. Yeah, I, I, I can see, see logic, I can see it too. Um, I can't see the logic on having guns out and telling you to leave like they fucking own the construction site there. Well, they weren't in the construction um, site. They were in that little back shack area. He was, he oh. had, a, they, they had, Sean had his class one pulled out, just kind of walking around. I don't know if he thought we were going to hop out and shoot him, but that wasn't our intentions. Our intentions were to go cap the hideout. No, we didn't yeah. go in. We only went into the hideout whenever they were chasing us. We drove straight through because we were seeing if anyone was inside ambush with like twos or threes. So we can get pictures, because nowadays a lot of people carry class twos and threes and just willy-nilly. Yeah. So we were literally just going through, uh, and we drove through. Uh, we drove through the the gang hideout with two cop, two SD Mustangs following us, and that's when it all like the situation started. I guess we didn't really understand why. So I mean, 
it was just a whole fucky situation and I, I can show the videos to prove it i mean there's a lot more in depth i mean if you want to look through it but i don't really... I don't need to see the videos i i believe what you're saying yeah. um yeah, not much I can do about Michael, obviously. Yeah, uh, but the only thing, I the only can, thing with Michael, I can remind, I'll remind people that, and I'll, I'll call it out if I see it, that uh, they need to be stopping so aggressive when it comes to that kind of stuff. The only thing um, that I can say about Michael is the one thing that I hated was suppose I, I talked to Ryan Limmer. He was there on with them on their tag, and supposedly after our shootout the first time, we called it code four, and he said that some SD people still got up and shut our cars when we drove past because we said it was code four, so we drove away. So that's one thing that I don't really, I, I was upset about as well. And they kept continuing the pursuit a little bit. Um, and then one of our buddies hopped on and was in a black explorer and got felony stopped with Sean and Michael with class threes, uh, because supposedly Ryan said, Michael Hawk in quotation said, all black explorers are deemed code red. That's a little too much in my opinion. After a code four situation, that's a little too much. Demon everyone like what if yeah. random civilians in a fucking you know explore and he just gets gunned down or you know like it didn't make sense. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree with that. Um, but I I forgot. I think I had a conversation with Scott. I didn't have a conversation with. I had I had a conversation with Scott through Marshall, and I should talk to Scott himself. Mm -hmm. um, but I explained it to Marshall that because um, it was it was kind of the similar things where. Uh, you know, gang members are getting stopped or people driving black for explorers. At this time, it was when the axles were, like, still really, really prominent. Correct. And mm -hmm. so they were getting stopped. Like, anytime uh, an officer stopped a car with an axle on it, even if it was one or four, they would have, like, fucking five SD on a traffic stop. Mm -hmm. And um, I explained to Marshall that um, at the time, and it's probably a similar situation with you guys now, too, um, that SD was just very scared of getting gunned down and all the rest oh, of the stuff. That. And so they, they came in full fledged and I didn't necessarily, I can't necessarily dog them for that because I, 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 I play the server too. I understand how it feels. Mm -hmm. Um, but unfortunately a lot of people don't understand that's kind of how the fucking cookie crumbles. Um, I mean, we we're not super OP obviously cause we're losing gunfights, but at the Correct. same time we're, we're, we're also in a position where we can easily have nine people on somebody if we have, obviously, if there's exactly. nine people on, we can have fucking nine people, two Jayhawks, five boats, and fucking ten dogs on you with one radio call. -out. So mm -hmm. um, we have that ability. And so in that sense, we can get very OP if we have the, the resources for it. Um, so I try to explain to people that, you know, in those situations and stuff like that, if you stop a car and let's say there's an axe member and if you stop a black explorer like you guys and there's three guys in it and, you know, the past couple days you've been dealing with that, it's okay to maybe have another additional come. But it is just truthfully, truthfully, really excessive and no excuse for to have five or four units on a traffic stop when you guys know you guys can't do anything on that mm -hmm. traffic stop. So, um, I mean, obviously... If you can't do anything with just a normal routine traffic stop or yeah. stop for speeding. Let I you mean, go. we don't we don't try but to do anything about, like, about that. I mean, now yeah. nowadays after after like Rob got threatened to be banned, Gary's already you know gone. We we all we're we're done kind of doing you know we're on a crime. We're, on, we're we're waiting for two weeks. We're not doing anything because we don't. We're gonna we're gonna make people miss us, and it's gonna be like one of those situations again. But I mean, the, it's just we were kind of you know. Yeah, we, we get we we love to be pulled over. We're trying to, you know, give some like I don't really want to break character and all that, you know, that stuff. But like we're trying to do some of that stuff, like to show that like that's why we do some stuff with fake IDs now. I mean, like, we're trying, but whenever someone like pulls shit out of their ass and says, No, this isn't you, like that kind of stuff, like it kinda of ruins, you know? Well, I'm also trying to get a lot of SD members out of this mindset of gunfights. Um gunfights so they treat every scenario where they expect to get shot mm -hmm. um and that's just not the case and when that doesn't happen they're just like oh, oh well, what the fuck do i do oh my exactly. god you just have no fucking clue what to do exactly. and so that pisses me off because um well, you know they get so used to yeah. these one type call things where they're ready to shoot that when when, when civs i mean i'm breaking character a little bit but when like civs actually do uh -huh. scenarios that they're actually trying to put their time and effort into making a good scenario. SD either fucking fucks it up by just being super aggressive with it, 
or they have no clue what to do, and it kind of ruins the situation overall as a whole. So, um, I mean, to put it in perspective, I, I want to say maybe like two months ago, there was a robbery up in Northdale, and the guys took off, whatever, and um, guys matched the description of the thing, but they switched cars when they left, and they stopped into the car. The deputy that stopped the car had no fucking clue what to do because he was like, oh, well, they match descriptions, but the car's different. Mm-hmm. I'm like, if they match descriptions and they're only fucking people leaving Northdale in a different car, take them out. Search them. You know they fucking, you know they were there. And so they, I just don't think they understand the ability of what they can do because they get into this mindset of, oh, well, I only, I'm only here for gunfights and I only, I only fucking interact with axles and gang members. And it's like, may that may that have been the case maybe a month ago when there was like a spree of probably like two weeks of us getting gunned down. Mm -hmm. Yes, that was probably the case. Is that the case now? And is it the case that we should set precedent for the future because of that? Absolutely not. So I don't know where this image is coming from. And it's really hard to get people out of that way because even they can be easily shifted right back into that way with just one gunfight. And then they're like, oh, fuck, easily. I fucking hate all these gangs, and they blame all the things on right. gangs, when really it's just... It's, it's like, just... I've never, I've never you, seen there's a, the there's, do so much with gang hideouts whenever, like, they get all capped. Like, it's only whenever we cap them, though. Like, whenever we cap them, all five, that's when ESU breaks out and just wants to go on a, like, on a spree of capping them all. Not whenever the Freemans cap it, not whenever fucking Charlemagne's gang caps it, not whenever anyone else's gang caps it, but it's like whenever ours does that's whenever it goes sideways yeah i mean i haven't seen that i haven't seen them capture a lot of shit lately um because we had something a while ago where we started telling us actually start capturing hideouts mm. um but no I, I i understand where you're coming from and i try my best to call it out when i see it but it's one of those things where like i said they're all in that mindset and it only takes one such situation from, for them to get back into that mindset and so it's very hard for me to teach no dog new tricks if they're stuck in that way. Um, but I'm hoping that I can teach it through cadet classes coming through and hopefully they'll get on the right foot, but um, it's just very, help, really. very hard to do. Um, but I don't think people also understand that we have, if, if we really sit down and really, really analyze and think about it, we have a very wide variety of sits. I mean, we have gang members that do gang shit and that's their purpose on the island. Correct. We have civs that are normal law-abiding citizens that just drive around and make shit and manufacture shit and yep. put gas in the gas stations, and that's their role on the island. You have, you know, you have faction members. That's that's their role on the island. Like everyone, if we really sit about it and think about it, everyone has different roles in the island. They all have different characters about what they do and what their character is set out to do, and a lot of faction members don't realize that just because you have gangs that are actually doing gang shit does not mean every single civ on the island is that way. There's a lot of civs that we don't even interact with that are actually doing good role play scenarios and doing good shit for the island, but we don't interact with them, so we don't care about them. Correct. And so I don't know where that logic is coming from, but it's really fucking stupid. Yeah, I I, I agree with you 100%. So I I, I want you to know I hear you and I'm listening and I'm really trying my best to. Oh, I know I know, I know don't, don't, that, don't, so. I'm not I'm not shitting down in anyone's throat here. I mean I I yes I I am upset about the situation 100%. Yes, a lot of us are. But I'm not going to shit down your throat and say you're doing a shit job. Like, I'm not going to say that. No, no, no. You're not. I, I, so, I know. I know what you're saying. You know, I just, I, I, I'm, I, I, you see it from my point of view. I see it from your point of view. Don't get me wrong. All three of us right here, we were in CG, like, well, maybe not even a week ago. We were all in CG, but we left because of people being two-faced and a friend circle being built. So, I mean, we left for a reason and we, we left. And before that... We were, we were criminals, yeah. We try to give the best of the b- benefits. I mean, don't get me wrong. We do a lot of shit. We try to do shit with jet skis with uh, CG. We try to do stuff with y'all. I mean, it's just sometimes, you know, some go different ways. Yeah, we don't care what way it ends. We don't really want to turn into a gunfight, though, at the end of the day. Yeah, and I, <clears throat> and I appreciate it because, like, at the end of the day, it's when you have gang members that do gunfights or you have gang members that do really serious crime like i said that's again their role on the island Mm -hmm. like if that's what their character does that's what their character does um like for example gary and rob there is a there is a moment there where they were just really really fucking aids Mm -hmm. and that was yeah and so that was that was like their kind of character thing and was it annoying at times sure but at the same time that's what they 
that's what they did on the island. Like, there are a very small percentage of people who actually do that. It was only those two that were really in that unique way where they didn't give a fuck and they were just ready to shoot 24-7. Like, that's a very small percentage of the island, and I think a lot of people only focus on that percentage of it a lot of times. And so it just sends us all into a fucking loop where we're pissed off at each other all day and going down each other's throats. When I get on, you know, I'm not I'm not expecting to not get into a gunfight. Like, it's going to happen. It's going to happen with, one way or the other. But I mean, Yeah, it's going to happen one way the or the other. But at the end of the day, when you get into like fifty of them, like a lot of deputies do, mm-hmm. just fucking get over it. Like I don't, I don't get what's so hard about you know getting into a gunfight, losing, and moving on. There's some and, points because there's sometimes so uh, there's some points where we do do gunfights with like CG, but like you know if they wipe us or we wipe them, you know we call it code four and we pick everyone up. We don't let them bleed. That's our goal at the end no, of the day with, that. with SD. But sometimes, sometimes. When we stop shooting and ask for code four, SD just t- kind of tells us to fuck off. And like, I know Michael doesn't understand it, but whenever we did a crime-based shootout that that day after the situation, because we tried to call it code four in between and stop it there, but they kept like trying to lead it on more. But after that crime-based shootout, we called it code four. And we when we called it code four with Bright, we were trying to get everyone up. We tried to do everything like that. And Michael comes around and says, why the fuck are we letting them all go? We Why is it code four? They're still there with guns. like. That's not the point at the end of the day. We don't want anyone to bleed out at the end of the day. Like, because that makes y'all have to buy gear. That makes y'all have to, you know, rebuy food, water. That makes us have to rebuy clothing, food, water. And if we wanted a gun, like, that, it's just a lot more on us as well if we bleed out. So, I mean, there's aspects right, yeah. behind in that it. Situation, in, in that situation, I kind of see both sides where when when we show up, it's kind of our jobs to fucking take bad guys to jail. So exactly. if that means we all die doing it, that's kind of how the cookie crumbles. But uh, I do also understand where you come from. On I there has been a lot of times when we have shootouts, even when we had like really bad shootouts with the with the axles and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. They took their time after the gunfight to make sure that we were getting up, and they would CPR us or whatever. They exactly. would call FIFA, and they would do try their best to get as many people up as they can. Um. And then we would all fucking load up in a life flight and fly away like nothing ever happened. So exactly, um, I, I understand that and I appreciate that because a lot of times that's that's really different from if you look at the island. I don't know if you were around like back in Project Life days and like two years ago, mm-hmm. or that wasn't the case at all. If you no, got gunned down, you got gunned down. Yeah, exactly. You'd right. get gunned down. The guy would come over and fucking teabag you on your face and drive away. Exactly. So there's some of us that do respect. It. There's some like are like yeah. I mean. This, our gang does respect everyone in the island. If we shoot someone and kill them, we we don't leave them there to bleed out unless they deserve a reason or a purpose, like a couple people do. But at the end of the day, if we if we shoot someone or we do anything like that, we call we call nine one one or we or if it's a scenario where you know all SD's down, we will help y'all get up. Like we will waste our medical to spend it because we don't care about money. At the end of the day, we have a lot of money. Yeah, oh well, but we will help y'all to keep y'all up. Like it's one of those aspects Bro. behind it. Bro, fuck shit. Uh, I don't care, but uh, but yeah, I mean it's one like one of those situations. Yeah, so I don't know. Hopefully, because we're don't get me I, wrong, I don't we're see trying to, the we're island ever really anything. getting to a point where where SD and or SD and all the Leo faction as a whole and gangs will ever be on the same like playing platform, be on the same page about stuff. Um, because you know it might happen for a week or two. And then everyone gets back in the same mindsets they were in, and the same shit happens again. So um, I don't know if a large majority of that will ever happen, um, but it's still good to know that we have people on the other side that see point of views and try their best to actually make good scenarios for us. Um, But, yeah, and there was was something about, like, um, I know recently we expressed that concern to... Because um, in SD, we, we, we're having a problem right now with inactivity just across the board with mm. members. And um, that got brought up to, to the command team by the Chief's Commission. Mm-hmm. And we basically laid out that um, the reason being for that is because if we look like in the past couple of weeks or the past month or so, the crime rate on the island was just out of the roof. And every time they got on, they were getting into gunfights, they were getting up, they are bleeding out, whatever. And then moving on, moving on to the next User one. So, um, that's that's kind of 
how it was and um that's why we said well now that the island's kind of coming down and getting to a stable place where the gangs are not doing as much and sd members are kind of understanding that perspective of the gangs um they're all kind of taking a break from that like for example a lot of gang members are not getting on the island anymore like we don't see the axes as much uh, that could possibly be a reason of gary and well uh, i mean robert all, whatever it, but so the story behind the axe was we we got dis they got disbanded yeah so we we trade we joined we traded into the boogaloo boys that's why everyone that's where everyone is okay that's where, okay. that's where everyone is that's where uh, I mean, a lot of us. That's where every everyone from the old Axel group is. Besides, uh, I think it was Jerry Axel. He's the one that wanted to take it back because he said it was a bad name on it. But I mean, in some aspects, yeah, there was bad stuff. But in other aspects, we didn't start a hundred percent of it, but we did start some of it. So I'm not going to say I give you all the benefit of the doubt, or I'm gonna give myself the benefit of the doubt because it just depends on how the scenario rolled up. But that's kind of where everyone is right now because we had to change because the the basically the founder of it wanted to take it away from us for a little bit so bobby gave it back so we kind of made our own so that's kind of what we are right now we're waiting for our new uniforms to come in the new update um so it's more distinct to show hey not don't just target all wetsuit guys or anything like that you know like we'll, we'll, we're we're going to get our new uniforms in they kind of look pretty sick but um that's kind of what uh the axles turned into so far Well, <clears throat> yeah, so then maybe that's why I haven't seen him. Um, yeah. But I'm glad someone actually, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you understand. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're trying to fix the problem 100%, and I hope everyone else learns to fix the problem too because I don't want to just keep gunning people down or, you know, shooting people or anything like that. I don't really, you know, like, like what are, after that scenario, after Gary blew up himself that one, that one night, uh, I kind of went to CG base and just like gave away 30 guns. So I gave like tw 15 class twos, 10 class threes, and then like a bunch of pistols that I had. Because I was like, I'm kind of over this gun stuff. I hope, you know, this wipe actually happens, you know. I mean, because it is kind of AIDS. So, I mean, there is aspects yeah. behind that. Yeah, that's my two cents on the issue. Yep. I, I agree 100%, and I thank you for your time. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Y'all have, right, yep. have a wonderful right, rest of the day. Have a good night, boys. Yep. Yeah.